Hey Derek, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video. Uh, we're going to go through and, and talk a little bit about mechanics and kind of break it down in, in a few couple key spots that I'd like to look at. You know, we like to look at how you're starting, kind of look at, you know, how your hips are taking you down the mound, look at your, where you, you, your foot strike, where you are at foot strike, how your hands are looking, how your hips are doing, and then through your follow through, alright, th through release. So. Um, so we're going to start just right off the bat, just how you're setting up. And and just overall, I'd just like to say everything's looking pretty good. You know, I especially like your lower half. You're, you're, you're really getting through your hips and, and using that lower half to throw. You know, we're, that lower half is what's generating that power. That's what's generating that torque. And, and you got a good good foundation to set up. All right. So right off the bat, you know, you're, you're set up over that back leg, which is perfect. All right. We like to see everyone set up over that back leg a little bit, you know, about 80% uh, on that back foot as opposed to, you know, switching that front foot. We just don't, you see a lot of kids who, who will kind of come set, you know, maybe 50-50 and then that head goes back and then goes forward and, and you want to make sure that that head's back as far as it's going to go uh, before you start going forward so you see that, that you're locked over that back leg um, and then going forward, all right. One of the things that, that, will make it easier for you to stay consistent and kind of just clean up everything is is to limit your movement up and down alright so what I mean by that is if we mark your your head right here alright just watching from, from what it does after you lift that foot you'll see it kind of pop up and then you'll see it pop down alright so you, you drive pretty pretty deep off that back leg which isn't too bad you know you looks like you're a tall kid got some long levers you know we want to make sure that that we're staying tall I mean that's that might be a little bit too, too much of a drop right there you know that that angle uh, is, is almost close to 90 degrees we just want to try to make sure that you know we don't get power from our knee flexion and extension we get power from these right up here so just kind of watch you know, if you're just doing a little bit too much of just kind of dropping and driving, you know, that kind of that adage of, of dropping and driving. But basically what I was going to say before is is you're kind of set up here and then you, you pop up. So I want you to get to a point where you're set up with your head at this point. All right. So if you go back and mark that, so now you're just not as bent in that back knee start off with you know you're just up another I don't know two or three inches and that 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 might help you too from you know dropping down so much before you're throwing but um, other than that you're doing good you get your your knee back over that back foot you know you're you're, you're getting that um, you get your hips in a good position to lead you down the hill and you can see that your hips are going and the hands are breaking as you're going down the hill and not the other way around which is good you know we want the hips to lead we want the legs to do the throwing you know the hips are lead that's, that's just the biggest thing that that I try to address to, the, to younger kids is just get your hips going down the hill get that lower half get going alright so you're good there so that's that's good to see okay your hands are breaking kind of over the rubber which is good alright so everything's looking good and you're really extended out, which is which is great. You know, we want to get down the hill as much as we can. All right, so let's look at where you are at foot strike. All right, and I think this one is about at foot strike, okay? And again, everything's looking pretty solid here. You know, that back foot's starting to turn over. That knee's starting to turn over. All right, you got a good angle with that front foot. You're, you're sitting back over that back hip. All right, you got awesome angles in your arms. All right, this is a pretty good position right here. Uh, you're sometimes we'll see kids with their elbows below the shoulder or above the shoulder, or you'll see you know extreme angles with that ball. So everything's looking good there. You're, you're keeping that front shoulder really good in line. You're not popping it open. All right, this back hip starting to turn over before the shoulders. You're generating that torque. All right, so uh, everything's really good here. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good, powerful position. Now, the the one thing that that you need to work on and improve on is we're gonna watch from what happens once you start rotating. 
All right, you're almost sitting back too much to a point where, watch what your back foot's going to be doing. All right, you're seeing it kick up off the ground. You're still pretty straight. And then it just kind of like your, your body just kind of crumples on itself and you're throwing against your front foot. You know, you're kind of throwing against this and you never really get out over that front foot, meaning you don't get this this chest and this body over your front foot, all right? And I mean, you see right here, it's just everything just kind of crumples together, all right? We don't we don't want to see this this back leg do this at all, all right? Part of that reason I think is you might be a little bit overextending. You know, it, it's I don't, I don't, it's tough to tell, but basically what, you know, maybe try just start maybe a one foot length shorter to kind of help you get, get the feel of this lower half, but, but what we want to see from this position is we want to see your foot all the way on the ground until that ball is released. So at this position, that foot's still going to be on the ground. We're going to be back here, all right, this position, because if you think about you know, if you're if you're going to hit somebody, you know, do you want to hit somebody on balancing on one foot, or do you want to have both feet on the ground? So it's just a, it's just a more powerful position, and it's going to help you get out over that front foot. So maybe try just you know just maybe a, a foot length, half a foot length shorter to kind of help you help yourself because it, it takes a whole lot of strength to kind of help yourself get a feel of of what that lower half needs to do to finish, and then kind of start striding back farther out, all right, so just, we just need to start seeing, once this, this hip starts going forward, we got to see this body start going forward too, with that back leg, all right, so you just got to drive yourself, you know, you're still on the ground driving through that back leg, and now you're starting to see your upper body, you know, kind of follow this, this plane and this angle, and you just want to get to a point where your head is out over that front foot, is out in front of that knee, out in front of that front foot, and you're creating an angle more along the lines of this with your back leg. All right, so you just got to stay, and basically all that is you just have to stay through that back leg a lot longer. All right, and so so you can see right as that ball's coming out, you know, you're coming out right about here, and we want to see chest, head, down over that front foot, all right, so all that is, is, is you just need to stay longer through that backside again, and, and what, basically what, what this does too, is this makes you, you know, this cuts your, your height in half by about a quarter, you know, it's like you, you go from being a nice tall pitcher, to now you're a little bit shorter, all right, and you get to a point where you're pushing the ball, we want to get angle, we want to get up on top of the ball, and we want this ball to go from right here, we want it to go straight down, all right? We don't want to see it drop here and then kind of push it with your elbow. You know, that ball is going to be real flat. We just want to get up on top of that ball and drive it right down the hill um, and just use those levers. Use that, that, that mound. Use, the, use yourself being tall. And just drive that ball downhill, staying through those legs. So basically, you got a lot of the hard work done, which is good, you know, the, the, the lower half involvement, uh, the foot strike position is really good, and now it's just a matter of staying through that back leg, and really getting down over that front foot, you know, even when you're playing catch, even when you're doing your drills, you know, just really overdo it, and feel yourself, feel all that momentum, take your chest and that head over that front foot, and you're going to start releasing the ball closer to the plate, you're going to start getting more angle, more velocity, uh, and it's going to be a, a whole lot better for you, but um, I mean, anyways, all in all, it's, it's, it's all pretty solid, just uh, those final tweaks. So, anyways, hope you had a great time at camp. Uh, hope you, hopefully you learned a lot. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again with ABC, and hopefully you're having a great season.